Well, hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Roger, and this is your Daily Tarot Map for Tuesday, August 18th, 2015, using tarot to create the life you want. First off, a big thank you to everybody for liking these videos, for sharing them on your social networks, for subscribing to this channel. I really appreciate your support. So this week, we continue our work with the Cosmic Tarot, created by Norbert Losch with the companion book written by Jean Hewitt. And the three cards drawn randomly from the deck today were the Four of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the Six of Cups. So I find it interesting that two out of three uh, cards today portray dancers in the midst of a pose. Perhaps uh, today will be a good day to bring the creative arts into your life. So the first card in our draw is the Four of Wands, in which uh, the dancer's pose echoes the flight of a bird. Now there is graceful controlled movement here, and it looks as though uh, she's, uh, she's ready to fly to take off. But I think it's worth mentioning now, this is the only card in the spread today that depicts one person instead of two. Now, given that this fire card is somewhat dampened by the water card next to it, this might point to loneliness or feeling that there is something or someone missing in your life. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to even be referring to a romantic interest per se, but to uh, create creativity or to the arts, something that uh, many of you might enjoy having as a part of your life. Now, maybe we can even take this card literally and then say exploring a career in dance and movement might be a good choice. Now, as you move on to our next car, card, we see two dancers in the midst of a pose. Now, the Three of Cups is typically a card of uh, contentment, of uh, abundance, of joy. Um, this could be the joy that we experience when a new love comes into our life and everything is all exciting and new. That's reinforcing the idea that perhaps it's time to invite romance into your life to, to get yourself out there and search for a potential partner. Now, alternatively, this card can reflect the joy and contentment one finds in expressing oneself through, uh, through art. Now, this could be dancing, or writing, painting, acting, movie making, you know, whatever it is that you're drawn to. You know, so many of us ignore this side of ourselves, but including the arts in your life can truly bring joy into our lives and for some of us might even serve as a viable second career option. Now, the last card in our draw the Six of Cups is another card of joy and happiness. And in this card, the man is about to plant a kiss on the cheek of the woman. Now, at first glance, it looks romantic, but I will say here that if you look closely at this card, they both don't, to, don't appear to be very interested in what's going on. Both of them, especially the woman, they look almost bored as though their minds are, uh, are somewhere else or someplace else. Truth be told, they show very little interest in each other. Now, though earlier we mentioned that the cards hinted at, uh, hinted at the search for a potential love, we must be careful here not to be so overly in love with the idea of love that we choose the first partner who shows interest in us or who crosses our path. This also might pertain to staying with someone who you know is not right for you, is not a good match for you. Perhaps the people in the image, they're each fantasizing about their ideal lover, the person that they would prefer to be with, if they could. Now, as we mentioned, the, the cards today might also be in regards to that creative side of you, and perhaps both people in this image are thinking about those unfulfilled dreams and aspirations and potentials. The message I'm getting here is that we don't need to settle. Um, we should go after what we truly want, whether that be a partner who shares your interests or a career in the fine arts. In so doing, we may find the happiness and completeness that we seek. So, the message today for these three cards is, there is no passion in living a life that is less than the one you are capable of living. Though settling may be easier, it is often far less fulfilling. So today's advice card comes from the Chronicles of Destiny Fortune cards by Josephine and Emily Ellershaw and uh, Claudia McKinney. And the card drawn randomly from the deck today is number 27, Word on Wing. 
So the word of wing cut generally has to do with messages coming in. These could be phone calls, or emails, or text, or physical mail. Perhaps an opportunity uh, in the arts will present itself to you today, or maybe somebody uh, in whom you've been romantically interested may contact you today. Now, whatever it is, be open to the messages that the universe sends to you. They may help you in making a decision or changing your life course to one more in tune to what you really want. And that's your Daily Tarot Map for today. Um, if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you'd click the like button below. And uh, visit tarot-dude.com to learn more about me or my work or to book a consultation with me. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Brightest blessings.